barrel. Um, you can see the various bottles. You can see the color of, of the burgundy wine uh, up. Um, uh, it's got a vestibule, uh, which is nice. Big improvement over New York. New York didn't have a vestibule. Yep. Our new New York at Pier 57 is going to have a vestibule, but um, we didn't have the luxury of that for 11 years. Um, so we'll have uh, six barrel head tap handles on that chalk board. Um, so there'll be 18 wines on tap at, at this bar. We, we love the tap wine system. It's uh, environmentally friendly. It works really well in a controlled environment where we're actually making the wine and instead of putting wine into bottle, I mean this is obviously bottled wine that we're all drinking, but when you go through so many glasses of wine per night, um, why open up you know 25 cases of glass uh, when, when you can put it on tap? And the beauty of being a winery that we're actually making the wine is because we're, 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 we're able to ensure that the temperature is going to stay controlled. We don't have to add sulfites to the wine, mm. um, which is a big plus. Um, mm. You know, you, you put sulfites in bottles because you're not sure how they're going to get transported, and 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 you don't want obviously the wine to turn into uh, uh, something that isn't going to be good for you or or go off. So um, we're able to to put our wine into stainless steel kegs, just like beer, and and go on tap and not add up sulfite. So it's, it's a great system. Um, uh, obviously the economics are even a little bit better for us as a house, but we do feel great about the environmental saving, the efficiency on, on the system, and, and, it, and it tastes really fresh. So um, that's going to be a feature of this bar. Finished. In nine days. <laughs> um, this entire curve sitting on top of this ledge and below this ledge is our barrel wall, uh, about a wall uh, design. We've been doing this in now all of our locations. It's a, well, you'll see the, the wood downstairs. It's curved cabinetry with room for bottles. So there's something like 3,000 bottles going into this you know, piece of sculpture. And it's, it gets lit from behind. It's a very dramatic feature. We're super excited about, about this. Um, so you, we, we have this, we started it in New York 11 years ago. Um, it was a, uh, a thing I saw in a magazine, an Austrian bar kind of did it as their back bar, but a straight wall. And then I convinced our contractor in, in New York, non-union at the time, which was the only thing I could afford. Um, to, to, to try and do it, and it came out really great. So then we did it in Chicago, and it got even better. Then we did it in Nashville, um, and it was bigger, um, slightly more expensive, non-union. Um, this one is definitely taking the cake to be the most expensive, largest, and union-built um, <laughs> uh, bottle wall, but it's gonna be really, really cool. Um, so you can see we uh, we did a sound vestibule. Again, uh, we, we care a lot about uh, making sure that everyone who's in this room is is primarily listening to the people on stage, not you know people in the hall talking. So you need two sets of doors in order to you know create that sound lock. Um, one of the great things in this room is the, the fact that there's no columns the except for right in front of our sound guy, but, but he doesn't need to see, he just needs to hear. Um, but, uh, uh, and then of course, you know, a little bit at the bar, but, you know, big overbuilt stage, has access to our loading dock, which is down below by a big service elevator that a car can actually go in. We have three dressing rooms behind the stage um, and several bathrooms, so it's a great, easy access all handicap accessible, uh, which works well for rolling carts as well as you know a wheelchair. Um, sound is by Meyer Sound in here, so they've been doing all of our PA systems. Um, and from here, you get a little view into our barrel space. Um, the racks on this far side 
will be completely filled to the ceiling, so you won't be able to get a view into the mall from here as much as I know everyone wants to get that H&M logo in their photos. Um, that is uh, uh, going to be obscured by, by barrels. Um, and those barrels will be uh, well lit, so it's going to be a really cool view, both from in here, but also I think to people who are walking the mall and going past, it's a huge long storefront and all they're seeing, they're not looking at concert you know, uh, space, they're not looking at the restaurant, all they're seeing are the sides of wooden barrels, so um, it should create a little bit of intrigue. Um, Again, the room holds about 350. All of these columns are being wrapped in brick, so to just finish the visual, um, trying to bring a lot of texture into the room. Not all of the uh, uh, clouds are hung, and obviously they won't be on, on, on angles like that, although the cattywampus quality might be good for sound. I'm not sure, but that's not the intended plan. Um, and. Uh, Wooden tables, wooden chairs, um, and and one big ass uh, service bar in here. This will be a great room for a party, but phenomenal for for shows. Um, one tremendous trick, different than New York City, um, which we I guess was our 2.0 version that we discovered for Chicago, is right behind that purple uh, wall is the kitchen. So the food can come straight into here. It doesn't go through a refrigerator like it does in New York, um, or uh, go have to travel long distance. You know the, the center of the of the building of our facility. Yes. Now we're going into the kitchen. Oops, sorry. Just coming in. It's a little bit bigger than our Chicago kitchen, which is able to handle 1,200 to 1,400 covers in a night. Um, you know, it's it's a hybrid catering setup and and a, a restaurant. You know, one of the you know disadvantages we have serving 350 people in that room between 7 and 8.15 is it's, it's not like, do you want chicken or fish? It is a full menu. So we need to be, it, it, it isn't easy. Um, now luckily we've, we've, we've had 11 years to, to get our, our stuff together, but um, it requires a pretty big operative kitchen and simultaneous with being crushed, you know, in terms of tickets coming in here for the music venue, we have a second room upstairs, generally with an 8 o'clock showtime as well. And then dinner is somewhere between 5.30 and, you know, 8.30 upstairs. So, you know, in that three-hour window, you know, this, this kitchen needs to handle somewhere between 800 and 1,000 um, covers a night, which is a pretty robust um, amount of food to come out here. So it needs to be big. You know, dishwashing is over on that side. Refrigeration is over on this side. Um, but what's great about this building facility is, you know, our deliveries come in downstairs, they come right up, and we have multiple ways to get into this space um, from, from the outside without having to pass through the front doors upstairs. So we're able to be very, very efficient. I need cheaper bands. Yeah. Um, and those will have, it'll be about eight, ten ton tanks. Um, and three or four smaller uh, tanks, about twice as big as these, um, which will give us ultimately a capacity of about 200 barrels in this facility, which is uh, about 7,000 cases if we were to put everything in bottles a year. Just what percentage of the wine sales do you anticipate that being? Well, 60% of our wine never sees a bottle, is always kept. Okay. 60%? Okay. 60%. Okay. Yeah. And is the bar just wine or do you sell uh, beer and liquor? We well? have beer and liquor. And what's kind of an interesting thing is um, we have a great assortment of brown liquors, single malt scotches, cognac. If you want to drink vodka, you know, we've got your quadruple distilled blah, blah, crap. And, um, you know, we got, every, we got everything you want. Right. And we have great craft beers. 80% right. of our sales is wine. Mm. 
even yeah. with such a big, you know, because yeah. um, I think people are coming here, they're, they're realizing that, you know, our wine is quality and it's served properly and they try wine. 